And welcome to another Mark Bishop Show. My guest is Sherry Backstein, Global Head of Consumer Business, The Weather Company. Welcome, Sherry. Hi, Mark. Well, as COVID-19 continues to spread across the country, IBM is offering free tools to help consumers track the reported cases of coronavirus in their local communities. Hyperlocal data, news and information from the Weather Channel app, now available at your fingertips to help keep you informed about the, co- uh, the coronavirus. It's available on weather.com slash coronavirus. We'll come back on that. And the Weather Channel app for iOS and Android. The Weather Company and IBM Business recently launched this, a new interactive incidence map. And that's to offer up-to-date information about the spread of COVID-19 by U.S. state and county. Pretty cool. Now, it's more localized than many other resources. So let me ask you, Sherry, what's behind all of this? Yes, so we know that weather for 30 years, we've been helping people stay safe in their communities. And we know people want the information down to their personal level, to their county level. And so we saw a really need in the marketplace to be able to provide this information at that local level. And so that's what we sought out to do. Very challenging because the data from each state and county government is very fragmented, comes in all different formats. And so being able to aggregate that together was definitely quite a feat that we were able to turn around in just about a week. Mm. Gee, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, This new feature, it's also going to include the latest news and video from the Weather Channel editorial team, along with uh, public health information uh, and also patient education materials. Uh, with the locations of key healthcare clinics and testing centres. I saw something uh, the other night on an interview that was going on in, uh, uh, in Taiwan. Is this similar to that, better than that, or what? So this particular product, if you think about it, it's the hub for all information around COVID-19. So it's an aggregated source of information down to the county level that comes from trusted sources, mm-hmm. so government sources, and I think that's really important because we, we don't need any misinformation out there, right? It's, it's, it's a, you know, scary enough for individuals and trying to deal with it. And it's a very stressful situation. Yes. Yes, so this is, is um, you know, a, a, a way to get that information to the public. One of the unique things about the site outside of the information that you talked about, the interactive map, uh, the confirmed cases, there's a trend chart. But one of the things we actually just launched this week, it was a, a Watson-enabled chat bot. Mm. So now users can actually interact with that chat bot and find out the answers to the questions that are most meaningful for them. And so if they want information on symptoms, if they want, you know, they're just curious about different things. Mm-hmm. So we've had a lot of great response with the chat bots, um, and that's powered by Watson AI from IBM. Yeah, good old Watson. I also believe that in addition, IBM is making an interactive dashboard available. This is to help users uh, such as data scientists, researchers, uh, media organizations, and uh, all sorts of people conduct a, a deeper analysis and filtering of regional data. This is available data that will That's include right. uh, confirmed cases, right? Recoveries where available and more. That's right. With the information that we're sourcing from the government, there's actually a lot that we're pulling in that we're actually not showing on the public site just yet. But information's around recoveries, um, number of people tested, hospitalizations. So we're really uh, providing a deeper uh, a rich data set for um, healthcare workers, um, for government, um, so we can kind of uh, look at that data. And then that data, you know, our data scientists are hard at work looking at trends, looking at how we can maybe produce what that curve looks like, trying to be a little bit more predictive in nature in the future. Um, and so now that we have this data, all of that work is going on as well. Mm. That's incredible. And you're right, it's scary enough, you know. You need the correct data, and you need it fast, and we need it now. Let me ask you this. Has the weather company had any feedback about this whole new service uh, as yet? So the feedback has been really positive from our users. They really appreciate the local information because we know that they they want to know what's happening around them, and then they want to know what's happening for their loved ones in whatever community they live with. And so it's really important because if we're going to get through this together, I think it's important to know what's happening in your community and then everyone can make the right decisions for their family Mm -hmm. and take the right steps 
to do social distancing. So it's really critically important um, that people understand what's happening in their neighborhood. So let me understand, Jerry. These incidence maps show up-to-date information about the spread of COVID-19. And this info is the U.S. state and county, the various states and counties. And it is more localized than many other resources out there, right? That's right. It's, it's, we're using AI to source all of this data from trusted sites for state and county government and pulling that data in using natural language processing through AI to pull in that relevant information. So the interactive map, you can it'll start on your county or around your area, and then you can click at the counties around you so you can see how it's trending. And so maybe your neighboring county is seeing a more influx of confirmed cases, um, and so then you can be prepared. So it's a great tool. It's, it's, it's a U.S.-based tool today, but we are working to very quickly expand this globally, and we will have country-level data within the next week. So this, this will continue to expand globally. We also offer this in different languages. We've started with Spanish, and we'll be quickly adding about six or seven other languages as well um, as we expand globally. Oh, that's marvelous. And just so people understand, listen, the tools which run on the IBM public cloud use IBM Watson to access and analyze the data from World Health Organization and multiple national, state, and local governments. So it's a lot more localized. Is this easy to you, Sherry? So it's extremely easy to use. Um, if you went on to weather.com slash coronavirus or onto the app, you would see a COVID button in the navigation. You click on that. Um, and for users that share their location with us because they, they want localized weather, their county would automatically pop up. And then from there, it's really easy just to look at the tools and to scroll and to see the information that's there. Um, you mentioned the editorial content. Um, and so you can see the very latest news that's coming out, um, you know, around the virus and, and the plans to, to kind of help the virus end um, and content around symptoms and how to, you know, recognize those and a lot of helpful information in the form of video as well. So, mm. yeah, extremely easy to use. Um, we made it so it was very consumer friendly. And, you know, of course, the chat bot then can answer other questions that people might be interested in. All right. Well, it's easily accessible. It's for free. That's marvelous to start with. It's on a smartphone. Most people have one. And if you don't, uh, that's okay. Web browser, go online, same thing. And by the way, before we forget that, weather.com. This is the website. Write it down. It's weather.com slash coronavirus. Weather.com slash coronavirus. And everything's on that site, right, Jerry, to explain? Everything's on the site. Uh, we continue to update it multiple times a day, and we're continuing to bring new data as it becomes um, available as the story changes and as we start seeing more recoveries and as we start seeing that trend hopefully start going downward, mm -hmm. we'll be providing all of that information so everyone is really up to date on you know what's happening in their community. Well, that's great. So what you're telling me is I don't have to wait all the time to see that blessed hump thing on the TV news at night. I'll be able to actually look at my own phone and be given the exact where we're at type of scenario as far as the local is concerned. Absolutely. On the state and local level, you can find all the information you need on, on the site or in, within your app. That's fantastic. Well, Sherry, you lead the consumer division for the weather company. Um, it's an IBM business. Uh, it includes overseeing all aspects of the weather channel and weather underground consumer properties, including product management, design, content development, and global expansion across the organization on weather's owned and operated properties. Sounds like a pretty heavy job, mate. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun job. You know, our team is extremely passionate about what we do. Um, helping people make decisions as it relates to the weather. So this was a natural fit for us to, you know, pivot for this particular crisis. And again, just providing that information to help people make those decisions. But yeah, it's a, it's actually, it's, it's a really great job because it's very rewarding um, to be able to help others um, at a time like this and really all throughout the year. Um, you know, from a weather scenario with our, our climate changing and, mm. and the weather becoming more volatile over time. 
so yeah, it's a, it's a great group of people, super passionate about the weather. Yeah, well, I know you're passionate about the weather. You worked previously for the television network as a producer. Uh, storm tracking team. This was back in, uh, what, um, WGNX TV in Atlanta. That's a CBS affiliate, right? That's a CBS affiliate. And uh, from there, I went to the Weather Channel TV. And, and yes, I was um, on our storm tracking team. So I've seen firsthand the power of weather and, and the destruction it can cause. Oh, and, my word. Um, you know, it, it definitely... You know, like I said, it's a passionate group of people um, and, you know, just talk about the weather. And there's great things about the weather, too, right? But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's been, um, you know, quite a ride with uh, the weather company. Um, and now being part of IBM, it's just afforded us the ability to do so much more. We're using quantum uh, computing for our latest weather model graph. Um, so it's, it's a really exciting time in weather mm. as we're seeing lots of changes and how to forecast that. Well, it's come a long way, hasn't it, from the old days. <laughs> By G and this marvelous product too, and what you're bringing out with that, it's going to be fantastic. So, um, just before we go, you went to Georgia State Uni and you enjoy playing golf, traveling, and cooking when you do get some spare time. Is that right? Yes, I, I do. I, I love to be outdoors, uh, especially playing golf, and um, mm-hmm. you know it's. Uh, it's you know, a controversial topic at the fun. moment. It's a controversial topic. Everything's <laughs> shut down everywhere except some golf courses. And here in Tucson, I'm a golfer myself. But, uh, you know, uh, our governor of the state believes you get out and get some fresh air, but just uh, be careful, stay apart from each other and so on, you know. So I don't know about that one. But anyway, listen, it's been fascinating. Well, it, Sorry, go on. I was going to say, I think it is the one sport where you actually don't have to be in close contact and you can actually play by yourself. So you can walk the course and, and play. So, um, you know, we have to stay active during these times, right, to stay healthy. That's it. As long as you, um, you know, uh, just wear some gloves and do some other things. It's been uh, interesting. Sherry, thanks for taking the time out. I know you're very busy. So sharing with us, this is good news for everybody during this rotten damn virus, and it scares the pants off everybody. And you know what? This is wonderful news from IBM, and thanks for what you're doing. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me on. You got it. Sherry Baxteen, ladies and gentlemen. She's the global head of consumer business for the weather company, an IBM company.